morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, depending on where you are in the world. This is Gloria White, and I am coming to you from Utah, USA. And today I'll be covering the book of Ezekiel, chapter 34. Once again, I'm doing one chapter per video. All right, for your viewing pleasure, <laughs> let us continue. Chapter 34. And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, prophesy against the shepherds of Israel. Prophesy and say unto them, Thus saith the Lord God unto the shepherds. Now here, the shepherds are the priests. And they're supposed to be feeding God sheep. And he's not very happy with them. Woe be to the shepherds of Israel that do feed themselves. Should not the shepherds feed the flocks? Ye eat the fat, and ye clothe you with the wool. Ye kill them that are fed, or fatlings, but ye feed not the flock. The diseased are weak. Have ye not strengthened? Neither have ye healed that which was sick, neither have ye bound up that which was broken, neither have ye brought again that which was driven away, neither have ye sought that which was lost. But with force and with cruelty or harshness have ye ruled them, and they were scattered because there is no shepherd. And they became meat or food to all the beasts of the field when they were scattered. My sheep wandered through all the mountains and upon every high hill. Yea, my flock was scattered upon all the face of the earth, and none did search or seek after them. Therefore, ye shepherds, hear the word of the Lord. As I live, saith the Lord God, surely, because my flock became a prey, and my flock became meat or food to every beast of the field, because there was no shepherd, neither did my shepherds search for my flock, but the shepherds fed themselves and fed not my flock. Therefore, O ye shepherds, hear the word of the Lord. Thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I am against the shepherds, and I will require my flock at their hand, and cause them to cease from feeding the flock or the sheep. Neither shall the shepherds feed themselves any more, for I will deliver my flock from their mouth, that they may not be meat or food for them. Now, in this day, these shepherds would be priests and preachers and ministers that are not feeding the flock, that they're taking from them the tithings, and they are not feeding the sheep the word of God. Let this be a warning, as in the old time, in the new time, the time that we're in, these lessons apply to us and to the preachers and priests and ministers of today because even then we were his flock, we were his sheep. And he's not happy because they're not being taken care of. They're not being cared for. And he's not happy. For thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I, even I, will both search my sheep and seek them out. As a shepherd seeketh out his flock in the day that he is among his sheep that are scattered, so will I seek my, out my sheep and will deliver them all and deliver them out of all the places where they have been scattered in the cloudy and dark day. 
and I will bring them out from the people and gather them from the countries and will bring them to their own land and feed them upon the mountains of Israel by the rivers or the streams and in all the inhabited places of the country. I will feed them in a good pasture and upon the high mountains of Israel shall their fold be. There shall they lie in a good fold and in a fat pasture or a rich pasture shall they feed upon the mountains of Israel. I will feed my flock and I will cause them to lie down, saith the Lord God. I will seek that which was lost, and bring again that which was driven away, and will bind up that which was broken, and will strengthen that which was sick, and I will destroy the fat and the strong, not the sheep, the shepherd, the fat and strong shepherds. I will feed them with judgment. Or with justice. And as for you, O my flock, thus saith the Lord God, behold, I judge between cattle and cattle, or sheep and sheep, between the rams and the he goats, or the male goats. Seemeth it a small thing unto you? To have eaten up the good pasture, and ye must tread down with your feet, or trample down with your feet, and the residue of your pastures, the remainder of your pastures, and to have drunk of the deep waters, but ye must foul the residue with your feet, or, or um, trample with your feet and as for my flock they eat that which ye have trodden or trampled with your feet and they drink that which ye have fouled with your feet therefore thus saith the Lord God unto them behold I even I will judge between the fat cattle or sheep and between the lean sheep or cattle. Because ye have thrust with side and with shoulder, or pushed with your side and your shoulder, and pushed all or butted all the diseased or weak with your horns, till ye have scattered them abroad. So the he goat with the horns is what he's saying that he's pushed against them and shoved them and 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 driven them away therefore will i save my flock and they shall no more be a prey and i will judge them between cattle and cattle or sheep and sheep and i will set up one shepherd over them and he shall feed them, even my servant David. He shall feed them, and he shall be their shepherd. And I, the Lord, will be their God, and my servant David, a prince among them. I, the Lord, have spoken it. And I will make with them a covenant of peace, and will cause the evil beast, or the wild beast to cease out of the land and they shall dwell safely in the wilderness and sleep in the woods there'll be nothing there to harm them they'll be watched over they'll have a good shepherd watching for them and I will make them and the places round about my hill a blessing and I will cause the shower to come down in his season, and there shall be showers of blessings. And the tree of the field shall yield her fruit, 
and the earth shall yield her increase, and they shall be safe in their land. And they shall be safe in their land, and shall know that I am the Lord, when I have broken the bands of their yoke, and delivered them out of the hand of those that serve themselves, serve themselves of them, or enslaved them. And I will raise up for them a plant, or a, a, a garden, a place for planting of renown. It'll be great. And they shall be no more consumed or gathered by famine with hunger in the land. Neither bear the shame of the heathen or the nation, the Gentiles, any more. Thus say, Thus shall they know that I am the Lord their God, and I am, and am with them, and that they, even the house of Israel, are my people, saith the Lord God, and ye are my flock. The flock of my pasture are men, and I am your God, saith the Lord God. So there he confirms that he's speaking of the people as sheep and um and he's going to and ye my flock the flock of my pasture are men and i am your god saith the lord god so it's almost like he's talking about christ too huh like this could be the same as at the end of times when when Christ uh, comes and he's the shepherd, the good shepherd, and he takes care of the sheep. And he comes from the line of David. Isn't it amazing how it all flows together? Anyway, thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. And I look forward to seeing you next time for chapter 35 in the book of Ezekiel. And have a great night. I love you.